Okay, since everything in my car has this black chrome, it's the center console. And even got this uh, embossed uh, T logo here, and the three bars here, and the T logo here, uh, as well as the uh, this white thing, the plank, whatever it's called. It's in carbon. Uh, I think it's time to do the uh, rest of the piano black. Um, that's why I got this one from Abstract Ocean. It comes uh, in this neat uh, pre-cut. Looks really easy. Uh, the pre-cuts looks uh, pretty good, so I'm just gonna try to stick them on. I'm gonna start with uh, left side here and uh, this part first everything is clean so everything is uh, ready to go and uh, I think it's quite easy to get it in place just have to line up this one okay don't pull too much uh, on the uh, thin sides because if you pull too much on the thin one you can pull it out of shape okay Everything is in line here. You can use the squidgy comes in the kit and just fasten it on the inside here. So all the way through here. Make sure there's no bubbles or anything else you don't want. And it goes all the way down here on the back side here. And then these are probably just falling down in front of those knobs. Like that. This one. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Oh, that's the first part this emergency release and that's that's a little bit harder to align
And that's aligning perfect with the other ends here. And there's the, the buttons. The easiest is to align the white thing. You got that in the middle. Down on the edge. So the second one. So all the ends are going together. So this is done and the front here is done. So what we have left is these two button buttons there. And again this is really easy. You just need to align it with that white dot there and make sure you're in the middle of the knob just finish it off and also on the other side same aligning Roll it over the edge. And the same the other way. Roll it over and firmly press it down. Okay, so the last part is this one. And here I already have this thing. That's also from <laughs> Abstract Ocean, uh, which shows, it's the same on all doors, shows that this is a door opener. So I'm just gonna put the carbon uh, wrapping around. So I'm just gonna align this one. Just try to keep it. Off while you're aligning it and get <laughs> everything fitted very everything fitted well it's pretty sharp uh, printout I'm gonna do the back seat, but first we're gonna have a look. Okay, so just swipe the area, make sure it's clean, no fingerprints. And it's here and up here. So, this is the part here. It's easier easiest to get it in here from that side then you can pull on each side each side and just make sure you align it That was a strange edge.
Let's try that again. Because it should be like that. So that's it in the corner. I think you're supposed to tuck something under the soft rubber there. Get that squidgy here. I think. Okay. Just push it under. Switch it around. This one again, line. line it with that mark. That one was a little bit bigger. I don't see how that can match here. Because it's going over the white here. I don't know, it's, it's all the way in there and I still got like well over a centimeter over here and it's all the way in here so that, that ain't gonna fit but I can make it fit I don't know if there's a difference between American and US cars, I, I don't believe there is, but um, the fit is not good on this one, it's too wide all the way.
Maybe it's about this much left over and it's all the way in there let's see on the other side now look here you can see it's all the way in here all the way it's even tucked a little bit under here it's pretty dead center over here but on this side there is like a centimeter overlay going over the uh, the fake letter here you see here it's over the side here so I don't know if there's any differences between the US or European cars but this one is too big you can see the vinyl here is going over the edge so this is the passenger door everything worked well there everything was pre-cut and really easy to install same with this one just as a driver door, really easy, uh, perfect fitment. This one is perfect. Now on the back door, this one is perfect, as well as the knob. But this one does not match at all. So I don't know if I'm really stupid or if there's some difference between models or the European and the US one, but this one is too thick. So it goes over the letter here. So it's the same issue here. This one works really good. But this one, too wide. So there's about eight millimeters or something going over. You can't really tuck it down more than maybe half a millimeter on the other side. So I don't know. Again, if it's a difference between the European and the US model or between uh, wind numbers, I don't know. But here, this is the driver's side everything fitted accordingly as well as this one so a little bummed out that the um, rear um, up here with the uh, door opener didn't fit my car but um, I'm really stoked out about this one it looks really good um, with the uh, same carbon everywhere in the car I think uh, it just completes the looks of the car inside so really good really good um, I just wish I could uh, get that piece for the opener to um, fit in the uh, back doors but uh, then again either I'm stupid or there's something wrong there because it's too wide um, I will probably fiddle with it later on and use some um, use some knifeless tape or whatever um, yeah have a look but anyway I enjoy it so if you want to transform your car and maybe you got like another color maybe you got like um, just sat in black here or gray or brush deal or whatever I think they have them in many different choices so I mean it looks better if you've done something here and with that uh, dash either I got the white aluminum like I do or the wooden plank there um, if you've done that part and you've done the center console I think this one complements it all 
and if you're interested in buying one you can go on abstract ocean and you can use the link down in the description and you get a discount anyway next video don't know what it's gonna be about but something funny okay Ouch.